Hey guys and welcome to the next video in my Chelsea save. Um, it seems a while, it feels a while since I've done um, you know, a video for this save. Um, so if I'm a bit out of sync with like my memory and everything like that, I apologise but I'm going to try my best. Um, as you may tell or may notice, um, there's a, you know, my skin on the game looks a bit different. And you know, I were downloading the new update for the game. You know, basically the January transfer window and everything like that, and the new updates they've done. And I noticed something on, um, you know, like the community on Football Manager on Steam and the uploads people do, and you can download certain things on there. And uh, I noticed like these new panels, what's one uploaded uh, for the dark skin, the official dark skin. And I seen the pictures, and it looked really good. And I just always wanted a skin where you can see the stadiums. I don't know why. I know it's a bit geeky, a bit weird, but I just love that sort of stuff where you can see the stadiums, the teams you're playing, or the club that you're at. So I'm really happy I can see Stamford Bridge in all its glory. And, you know, the new panels, you can see so much information on just one screen. And I'm really happy with that. And, yeah, I suppose it will um, just improve the game for me, just seeing certain things a lot easier. Anyway, I'm going to go to the transfers because we've just finished with the January transfer window. And we've got a couple of big signings which you'll already know of, I'm pretty sure of. I'm sure I said in previous videos where I'll be signing. Anyway, if I didn't, you're going to know now. Uh, Mario Hergovic, I signed from Dynamo, youngster. Cost us 825000 As you can already see by his stats, um, which I'll be showing his attributes in a bit. You know, he's already an amazing player. Um, 17 year old, he turned 17 of December of last year in the game. And uh, just look at his stats already. This guy, in two years' time, I think will be a world class player. So I'm just really happy we've bought him for dirt cheap. And I sent him on loan to Blackpool. So where hopefully he can, you know, learn under certain players like Barry Ferguson or, or Tom Ince or someone like that in a very competitive league. So hopefully he'll uh, do well there. Uh, second of all is James Rodriguez from Monaco for 24 million. Um, James Rodriguez is basically there to replace Oscar. Um, Oscar wanted to leave, sent in a uh, transfer request about three times and uh, just weren't happy at the club for some reason. He weren't getting enough football basically, and um, because Mata is my first choice, and you know I, I decided to sell him. And we got James Rodriguez for a good price, in my opinion. He's only 23 year old, and as you can just see by his stats on the game, he's amazing. And in real life, he's just such a good player. I love watching him when he played for Porto. I know I love watching him play for them. And last of all is Wayne Rooney from Manchester United for £10 million. Um, he's now 29 on this game in 2015, um, but I think Wayne Rooney is a world class player. Now, Lukaku weren't doing his job right for me as a striker with Lewandowski. You know, as like um, the second striker. Weren't trying hard enough in the games. Um, so I thought I'd sign Wayne Rooney when I could. Um, because I noticed it on my scouts that we could get him for a decent price. And I thought, why not? Good uh, teamwork and work rate, in my opinion, Wayne Rooney. Uh, he's still got his key attributes, um, even at 29. And hopefully he can improve with his pace and acceleration. So the players were let out. I'm going to quickly go through this. Um, Oscar obviously went, like I said, for £35 million. So Oscar's um, transfer income basically paid for James Rodriguez and Wayne Rooney. And Mario Hergovic. Um, Gail Kakuta went to Norwich for 700000 Nathan Aki went to Peterborough. Alex Kiwomia, I think that's how you pronounce his name, went to Leicester for 375000 Mario Hergovic went to Blackpool, like I said before. Rodriguez went to Getafe on loan. Josh McCracken went to Watford on loan. And Lucas Pearson went to Cruzeiro. Let's just see if you can see the stadiums in Brazil. Yeah, you can, which is great. So I'm going to go to the fixtures, what we've played since the Flamengo game, I think it were, in the Club World Championship final, which we won 5-0. We had a 1-1 draw against Arsenal. Uh, I can't remember too much about this game, but it was a very tight contest, and even though it was 1-1, it was still a very entertaining game. 
I actually remember a lot about it now. <laughs> um, we beat Wigan 4-2, which we should have anyway. Beat Cardiff 5-1, very impressive game. We had a 1-1 draw in FA Cup third round against Man City. Eden Hazard scored the goal. But we actually was very unfortunate in that game. Not to win. And then we beat Watford 2-0. Very nice performance that were. And then we had a 2-2 draw over natural time. And then we lost on penalties against Man City. As I recall, I know we played better than them in the first leg. And we played better than them in the second leg. Just very unlucky with certain things. Um, but at the end of the day, when you lose an opponent shootout, you still lose. So that's that. And then we bounced back, um, beating Norwich, um, beating Ipswich and West Brom. Uh, 1-0 and then 2-1 against West Brom. So we're going into today's game against Liverpool. Very important game. We haven't done, a, we haven't done well against Liverpool um, on this save. For some reason, they seem to be a, be a bit of a bogey team. But, you know, we're going to try and turn that around in today's fixture. Um, the Premier League table looks like it is. Um, Newcastle are currently first on 52 points. But we've got two games in hand against them. So I'm very confident that we can, you know, get to first spot very soon. And we've got, like, three games in hand uh, to our closest rivals, Arsenal, in third. So let's go to the game. I'm going to show you the tactics or the lineups, shall I say. Starting off with Lewandowski, Hazard, Mata, Sanchez, Ramirez, Wanyama, and Nathaniel Klein will be playing at left back because Ashley Cole and Luke Shaw are both out injured. Kurt Zuma, David Luiz, Aspiqueta, and Valdez in goal. Um, Wayne Rooney is on the bench, and so, and so is James Rodriguez. I'm just waiting for the right um, runner games to bring them into the team and see what they can do. But Lewandowski has been playing well, and so has Mata, so I'm going to have to wait a little bit. So let's go to the game. This will probably be, you know, the last season I do uploading videos for this save. Purely that I want to concentrate on the Inter save, uploading that. And you've seen me do a Chelsea save before on Football Manager 2013. So I doubt it's, you know, it's not going to be so entertaining for you really. So yeah, that'll probably be the last season this season. But I'll still be carrying on in this save. And uploading videos now and again and I'll probably leave Chelsea after I've done certain things and maybe go to a different club and start uploading videos, carrying on this save if that makes sense. You know, go on a bit of a journey man, maybe do international or go to a different league. Anyway, let's go to this game. Yeah, we owe Liverpool after what happened in the last game for sure. Let's start the match. So we kick off. Kurt Zoom on the ball to Klein. Hopefully he can do a, a decent job at left back. Not his natural position, but he's done well in the past. Oh god, Sanchez gave it away, but David Luiz smashed it in. Klein is in the penalty area. Bit of a bad shot there. But at least they come forward or, or had the confidence to come forward. I actually watched Chelsea yesterday against Fulham and I thought it was a good performance. Bit of a bit of a rubbish, dismal first half, but to beat Fulham 3 1 or whatever it were. You know, actually Andre Shirley actually scored an at trick. Um and to be our West End rivals are really good. So Valdez, and also Arsenal lost, so that's a good thing, you know, for us anyway. So we yeah, 21 minutes gone. Ramirez, Klein, Eden Hazard, Mata with a goal to make it 1-0. But hopefully this game, we're not as unlucky like we were against uh, Man City in those games. Hopefully, when we do get the chances, we put them away and finish the game off. You know, don't let them get back into it. Valdez. That's Quater, who's had a great season this season. Real Madrid are wanting to sign him on the game. 
but they're not, have, they're not having him, no chance. Wanyama, Lewandowski smashes it in to make it 2-0, 25 minutes gone. So well for this uh, bad luck. No, it's not bad luck against Liverpool on this save. Um, they've actually just played a lot better than us when we've played them. They've been really good against us. Um, the last game I remember, and um, they just completely ripped us apart um, defensively. Uh, so you know, I've got to give them credit. Matter with a corner. Does that go straight in? And it does. <laughs> what a goal! I think he did mean that football manager. Yeah, he did. Uh, so three 0 half time. Really happy with that. And that's his eleventh goal of the season. Yeah, very happy with that. It's got a standard oh, balance. So I'd say lower the tempo. So if uh, we get the victory here, we'll be on top of Newcastle in first place with a game in hand. So that'll be that'll put us in a great position. That Ramirez picks it up there. That Wendowski maybe should have done a little bit better there. I think I might bring on Rooney in a bit, maybe around the 65th minute or something. Fernando, I think they signed in from Porto. Stevie Gerrard towards Betner. I don't think Betner. Oh god, the scores. Um, what I'm going to say is I don't think Betner gets enough credit. I think he's a decent player. I've seen him. Well, when I've seen him play for Arsenal, uh, he's played pretty well. Um, anyway, that was offside, by the way. So yeah. From Honda, who's actually gone AC Milan now. Let's bring Rooney on. I want to see what he's like in a big, big game. He's a complete forward in this game. Um, Sanchez, I'll take him off for James Rodriguez. I'll leave him as a winger. But Liverpool do score now. And it was Honda again. He had one disallowed and he's just scored one. 3-1, um, 62 minutes so. Okay, this is interesting. Let's go counter. I don't know if me going lower tempo affected our play because we're a pretty fast team. Eighty minutes. Now two minutes. Corner kick. David Louise. Zuma. No, can't go into it. So it looks like a 3-1 victory and it is. Really happy with that. Finally beat Liverpool in a good fashion as well. As you can see on the right hand side we've gone on top of the table. We're game in hand. One point ahead of Newcastle. So I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to end this video right now but I wanted to ask you all a question. And the question is, uh, you know, if you watch the Premier League week in week out. I just wanted to know who you think is going to get relegated. Um, I think initially I predicted, you know, at the start of the season, and no disrespect to these clubs, it was just my prediction. I predicted Sunderland because I didn't rate Paolo Di Canio. I predicted Cardiff. I just didn't think they had the depth for all for the league. And I also predicted... Let me have a little think about this. I think it was... 
Crystal Palace. I think it was Crystal Palace anyway. So, yeah, I think it was um, Sunderland Cardiff and Crystal Palace, I predicted. So, if you've uh, had your predictions or who do you think will go down now, um, please let me know. I think Fulham are in a bad position, of course. I mean, God, I'd have never in a million years at the start of the season thought Fulham would be there. No chance. Um, so, yeah, it's a very tight season, I think. I think Fulham will go down. I think the mess around with the manager is pathetic, what they've done to that club. They should have stuck with Martin Yell, um, because I think he's a good manager. Um, but anyway, I won't rant on and go on, because I could talk about this for hours. But just let me know what you think we'll get relegated this season. Still around 10 games left, I think there is. So there's still enough time for people to turn it around or even go down. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Would appreciate any comments you feel like leaving. And uh, if you go on Xbox Live or go on certain games, if you go on FIFA or Grand Theft Auto, uh, please drop me a message on you know on YouTube, either a personal message, for example, or leave a comment and I'll add you. Just leave you a gamer tag and I'll add you. So I really appreciate that and take care.